Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your monthly reading for January 2021. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, Happy New Year to everybody. I do want to take a second here to remind everyone that this is a general reading and is therefore not going to resonate with everyone. Um, don't try to make yourself fit into a story that is not yours. Um, if it doesn't resonate with you, just leave it for someone else that it does fit for. There are a lot of good tarot readers on YouTube um, that you can also check out as well. Um, if you would like a personal reading, though, go ahead and check the box beneath this video and email me. I will be happy to help you out. Um, also, if you go ahead and subscribe to the channel, that does throw your energy in with the rest of us, and that'll make it a little easier for me to pick up on your energy and your story. So what I'm going to do for your monthly reading, Libra, I'm going to pull a Celtic cross, and um, with this particular deck, I do not do reversals. I will do reversals when I do the clarifications, however. Also keep in mind, um, with this deck, I also pull the um, Celtic cross a little differently. Um, and then at the end of the reading, we're going to go ahead and get a message from the angels as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. This takes a little bit of time to pull. If you want to, you can go ahead and fast forward through this part. It's up to you. It's entirely your choice. Central issue, we have the Prince of Summer. Crossing that, we do have the Wheel. Why is all this happening? We have the Ten of Spring. In the past, affecting the situation, we have the Two of Summer. What's on your mind, Libra? We have the Three of Winter. Near future, we have the Seven of Summer. And how are you showing up, Libra? We have the Queen of Spring. Interesting. Okay. What's coming towards you? We have the world. Spirit's advice. We have the Ace of Autumn. And should you take Spirit's advice, we have in the outcome, the Awakening. All right. Very nice. So, bottom of the deck. Interesting because Aquarius got this same card at the bottom of the deck. Um, we have the Three of Summer. So the Three of Summer speaks to um, joyous occasions, can be celebrations, can also be a reunion. Um, so this can speak to any kind of celebration, could be um, pregnancies, could be weddings, um, can be, you know, just friends getting together. I know we are in the middle of COVID, but um, it can speak to any of those. It could just be announcements of good news. Um, but it also um, can be a um, coming back together of a um, relationship. So just depending upon the situation, um, we will find out as we go through. But it is always a card of celebration. So that is underlying energy in your reading. So that's, um, that's a very good good card to have, okay? All right, so your central issue, we do have the Prince of Summer. Um, so that is the core issue that Spirit wants you to be aware of. Um, that does speak to um, falling in love. So your reading is also going to be about love. I, if I remember correctly, Aquarius's reading was about love as well. Um, now in the monthly readings, we kind of let come up whatever comes up. So we might find out about financial, we might find out about, um, you know, love, it, it's just whatever comes up. And just kind of looking through yours, um, interestingly enough for you, Libra, um, most of what's coming towards you has to do with love and um, I would also say um, passion, love and passion. Um, a little bit of money though. All right, so we'll get to that. But your core issue here with um, that Spirit wants you to be aware of, we have um, all about falling in love, um, kind of being swept off of your feet. The Prince of Summer um, is basically like in the, um, the traditional tarot, it is like the um, Knight of Cups. So it's kind of a very romantic card. 
um, and it has to do with an emotional experience, um, a very flirtatious or, you know, a loving emotional experience. And what is um, crossing that is the wheel. So there's a change. There's a change for you in love that is coming up. So let's go ahead and start clarifying. Spirit Wise, the Prince of Summer here. So this indicates that you're either wanting to offer an emotional experience to someone, or you're hoping that someone is going to offer you this emotional experience. Now, interesting because, at the, if I can keep the card, um, at the, the clarification is the Page of Cups in the reverse. So that is... Um, conflicting energy so we see a change which is exactly what the wheel um, of fortune is talking about so after having gone for a period of time here with either you not demonstrating or offering or showing this emotional outpouring of love um, or perhaps not receiving it from the other person that is fixing to change in January, there is going to be a change in that situation. So if you're the one that's been holding back, you're you're no longer going to be holding back. If um, the other person has been holding back, they're going to be offering their emotions to you. Um, and we have affecting it the wheel. So that would indicate to me that this is now within divine timing. The wheel of fortune um, deals with divine timing. Um, it's also um, a lot of good luck. It can also indicate travel for some of you, but it's a, it shows that there are delays. So we do see the delays here twice, um, but the delays are ending. Okay, let's see why. Okay, yeah, the delays are ending. So clarifying that, we have the Six of Cups and then we have the Ten of Cups. So this is someone from your past, Libra, and this is somebody that you want to have complete emotional fulfillment with. Yeah, so it's it's something that has been delayed, but now, I mean, it's, it's ending. So whoever was withholding the emotions in this connection, they're no longer going to be holding withholding. Um, this is... This is somebody you you care deeply about. Now, you have either been with this person before, which I feel like you have in this life, but you may have also shared past lives with this person as well. Now, in the past, you have the two of summer. So this person is a soulmate of yours. So this is a deep bond. Um, with the um, six of cups here, the two of, of cups over here, this, this person is a soulmate. This is a very deep bond. Um, and in the past, I see that the two of you, Matt, you fell deeply in love. Um, and I feel as if there was something that caused a delay in this connection. Why is the two of summer here? Why is the two of summer here in the past? But neither of you gave up on this situation. There, something caused a delay in it, but neither of you gave up. Yeah, we have the Knight of Wands. So one of you may have been very in and out. Your energy may have been in and out. One of you may have been, you know, kind of a player. Um, you know, maybe one of you was seeing other people. Um, but there was some in and out energy here. Either one of you was a player or, or it was just in and out energy. But it caused delays in this connection. It caused, um, there was also someone who, you know, kind of shut down their emotions. There was a lot of holding back. That is changing. That is definitely changing. Um, now, the underlying energy, why all this is happening, we have the Ten of Spring, which is the Ten of Wands. It became too burdensome. This, this became too burdensome, this holding back. It just became too much. Um, and it was weighing somebody, someone down. So let's see. Why is the Ten of Spring here? Page of Wands. Yeah, not communicating. Somebody wanted to communicate. Um, you know, they were unable to. It might be that you were communicating with the person, but not saying the things of substance that needed to be said. All of this is becoming too much of a burden for someone. What's on your mind? Well, we have the Three of Winter. So with the Three of Winter here, that's pain. So this has been hurtful to you, um, Libra. This has been very painful. Um, I feel as if, you know, you have been reaching out to others for support. 
Um, you had, you know, I don't feel like you were the one that was in and out. I feel like it was the other person. Yeah, and I feel like you have been wanting to communicate with this person. This is be the relationship has become something of a burden for you, Libra, because you feel like the substance has not been here, but you have felt it, but you haven't been able to to it hasn't completed itself. Oh, that's very sad. And I do feel like you have reached out to people. I do feel like you do have support. Um, and that you've grown stronger throughout this situation. So you are healing. Um, there is healing that's taken place, but this has been very painful for you. And I feel like, I feel like that is in your mind. I think that, you know, you are aware of that pain even still. And that, that is, that is part of what's causing the burden for you. Why is the three of winter here? Yeah, you've become stronger as a, as a result of this, but it still is on your mind. Yeah, it's caused you to be a little bit defensive for sure. Mm -hmm. So we have the seven of wands. We have the king of wands in the reverse, and then we have the devil. Yeah, so you're not you're not moving forward with this. I feel like you're standing your ground in this situation. Um, and I also feel like you, you really feel as if you're tied to this person. Um, I feel like you may have tried to, you know, just walk away from this Libra, but you, you feel like you can't, but at the same time, I don't, I don't see you taking action towards this person. I feel like you've kind of sat back and waited and, you know, I think that you have fond memories of this person. You really do want, um, a full blown relationship with this person, and it's going to happen. I feel like it's that's coming around. But I don't see you taking steps forward. I, I feel like you have stood your ground here um, in a painful situation. This person has been in and out of your life. They have not been consistent. And that's caused you a lot of pain. Now, in the, um, in the near future, you do have the seven of summer. So... Um, there is, um, that's, that's options basically. So I, I see that, um, you're going to be, you're going to have options coming up in the near future. Now this can cause, this can cause uh, a little bit of confusion and Libra, you do have a tendency to overanalyze on all your different options. So I would be very careful with that because this can be a card of, of over procrastination of, you know, just kind of like overthinking and over procrastinating. So, Spirit, why is the Seven of Summer here? Can I have three cards, please? Oh. All right. So, we have Judgment. We have the Six of Wands in reverse. We have the Six of Coins. And we have, again, the Wheel of Fortune. All right. So... I feel like you two um, tried to come back. You, you may try to come back together or you have in the past and it wasn't successful. So if you have tried to come back together in the past and it wasn't successful, there is going to be another opportunity for that. And this time it's going it, to, things are going to be in your favor. Um, if you haven't already tried to come back together, there may be a false start that will fail. And then um, it's going to be some negotiating, but then it's going to come back together. So if you haven't already had a false start, you may. Um, but there will be a false start at some point. I do also see um, for you, Libra, that there will be a tendency for you to be up in your head about this. Um, you're going to be procrastinating, so be careful with that. I do see that you want to um, you want to bring this connection back together. I see two cards indicating that. Um, I also see that you do have a lot of fear of it failing. Um, I also see that you are definitely going to advocate for yourself to have an equal give and take. I think that you may have felt that you were breadcrumbed in the past and you are not going to be having it. Um, but I think that things are turning in your favor here. 
Um, and it looks as if divine timing is definitely um, in your favor in this situation. So this looks like it's going to successfully come together in spite of your fears. And also keep in mind, um, for some of you Libras, the over procrastin or the procrastination is going to come about because of your fear, fear that this is not going to work out. But that's not that's not what it's looking like. It looks like you know this is in divine timing, and it looks as if you know this is turning in your favor. All right, so let's look um, at your energy here. You're showing up here as the Queen of Spring, um, which indicates to me. Um, that would be um, someone you're you're showing up in your reading as being somebody that is proactive, um, very attractive, um, very loyal, um, very talented. Queen of Spring can sometimes be whether you're male or female um, can sometimes be a business owner or a boss, somebody who gets things done. Um, you know, you do have a tendency to um, draw people to you and people really want to help you to achieve the things that you want. Um, you will be working towards making a balance between your home and your work life here. Um, this is also a card. People are going to be seeing you as being very friendly and talented um, and you're really going to be shining here. So in the month of January, you're really shining here and it is also a card of action. So I see you actually really moving forward. So let's get three more cards to clarify. Yeah, you're really coming across as a go-getter in January, Libra. One more card, please. All right. So you have the Page of Swords, Nine of Swords. You have the Four of Wands and you have Temperance. Okay, so Libra, um, it looks as if you're going to be very much studying up on something here with the Page of Swords. So you're you're definitely in a studious mode. Um, I've got to put this in too. Um, you're definitely in a studious mode here. Um, I see that you are studying up on things. I feel like that is work related. Um, and I do feel like you're you're kind of coming across as being kind of battered. So I don't know if um, it could be due to relationship. It could also be due to work. But you're kind of come across with this wounded warrior. You're, you know, like you've kind of been through it a little bit. Um, I do feel like you're hanging in there, though. And if you look on this card, even though all these obstacles are behind him, um, there there's growth on those. Okay, so... He's put a lot of obstacles behind him. He's studied his craft. He's worked, he or she, and, you know, there is growth. So, um, that being said, we also have the Four of Wands in the reverse. So, it does look like there is um, either a relationship that may be ending here, or, um, and it, if so, it would be a long-standing relationship, or there could be a loss of stability in the home that is going to um, lead to a need for you to balance things out emotionally and create some healing. And it will also cause a little bit of discontent and a need for, um, you know, rebalancing of, you know, your, your emotions. So um, there will be a little bit of an upset there that's going to cause a, a need for you to rebalance yourself. It, it looks as if there is some kind of a relationship that is going to be ending. It is one that will affect stability, and it is one that um, is long-standing as well. That being said, I also see you um, overcoming obstacles, um, really studying your craft and moving forward, and people are going to want to help you. You're going to be drawing people towards you. Now, what is the energy coming towards you, Libra? Well, we have the world. So that's ending out cycles. So it doesn't surprise me to see this Four of Wands in reverse here. Um, the world is you ending out cycles so that it's a journey that's now complete so that you can move forward. You have freedom now to move forward into any direction that you choose. Um, so let's go ahead and pull three cards for that. Did something turn? Yep, it did.
-hmm. Okay, and so you will receive some kind of a message. It's going to be very, um, very fast news that's going to come forward with regard to, um, well, actually with regard to uh, a choice, some a choice about um, love. Um, it could be about a choice. It could be about a soulmate. Um, but you have the lover's card here. Now, remember at the core of your reading, um, you have the Prince of Summer. So you are going to receive some kind of news. So I see you closing out cycles here that are no longer serving you. Um, and that's the energy coming towards you as well. But then you're going to receive some kind of news. And I do feel like it has to do with a soulmate that is coming in your direction. Um, with the Page of Pentacles in the reverse, I do feel like, um, you know, this is something um, that you had seen as a loss in the past. We see that here. Um, but I think that this is a situation that is changing for you. So I see you closing out cycles and moving in new directions. And I see that these this is going to be a success for you, Libra. Um, now, Spirit's Advice, you have the Ace of Autumn. So that's an excellent card to have. That is a brand new stable beginning. Um, it shows that there is it's success. Um, it's a happy change. It also shows that, um, you know, on the money sector, it could be a windfall of money. It can also be a change, um, a, a positive change in your career. So let's look at that. And somehow this, um, I can also tell you that somehow the, um, the love situation is going, if this is a change in the career or the money, somehow the love situation is going to play into that, Libra. It's going to, they're, they're tied hand in hand somehow, which is very interesting. Okay. Okay. So yeah, you have, um, you have the eight of wands. So whatever this is, is going to move forward. Um, you have the king of cups in the reverse and then the knight of pentacles. So, there's a situation here that in the past, um, this King of Cups, this is somebody who um, did not show their love. And we have that over here too. That's going to change, and it's going to change quickly um, with the Eight of Wands. So, it's going to, the situation is going to change very quickly. It may include travel. Um, will definitely include communication, but the situation is going to change extremely quickly. Um, as far as, you know, it, the change will occur quickly, but then the stability of it is going to come slowly, if that makes any sense. And it is going to affect you financially because we see it has to do with love, but it will affect you also financially. Very interesting. And this is Spirit's advice to you is, you know, that, that this is how, that the, the two are linked is what Spirit is saying. So I think, I think that the, um, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm reading this correctly, Libra, the change with regard to love is going to occur quickly because it is in divine timing. And it is somebody whose heart was closed down in the past, this is going to change very quickly. But the stability of the situation, which will affect the financial part of it, will come through slowly. Interesting. Now, the outcome is the awakening. So, which is, again, very interesting to me. Um, if you follow Spirit's advice, which is to allow the love situation to change, therefore allowing the financial situation to then change as well, um, it's like everything starts to lift up, everything vibrates at a higher level, um, then it's going to change the way 
this you're looking at the situation your perspective is going to a change on, on every level so there will be a temporary pause in all the action which is why things will slow down slightly there will be a temporary pause but your perspective on everything is going to change everything is going to change but it's not that the situation the situation will change as well but your perspective is what's going to make the biggest different difference and then on a vibrational level everything is now different everything will therefore forever be different so i hope i'm making sense to you because um, for me it's as clear as day let's get three cards to clarify and it is literally a a for, for you, Libra, it's literally going to be an awakening. It's literally going to be an awakening for you. Yep. So what's going to happen? You're going to have the Nine of Swords in reverse. It's going to put an end to the worries and the concerns, that dark night of the soul. So some of you Libras have been going through a dark night of the soul. It's going to end that. It's going to create an awakening for you, but you have to have the strength to end a cycle so that you can begin the new cycle. Yes. Beautiful. This is a very beautiful and very powerful reading. Um, this, this is amazing. I, I, it's a very powerful reading, and it begins... Um, I remember telling you in the beginning of the reading that it looked like it was all about love and passion, but the thing is, and I remember saying, you have a card of, of like one card of um, finance, um, but we'll get to it. The thing is, is that it is so intertwined. It is so intertwined that it is inseparable, to be honest with you. So for the group of Libra um, Libras that I'm talking to, you... This is your love and your financial stability is somehow intertwined deeply in this. And once you get in connection, once this big change happens um, in, your, in your love life, I think that it's going to change your perspective on everything. And that's going to lead to this, this windfall of financial success or career success. So let's go ahead and get a advice card for you. It's a powerful reading. It's all about cycles um, ending and, you know, being free now to begin new cycles and making sure that you're not procrastinating in the, the process. All right. So Libra, your card says opportunity to forgive. Okay, so let's see. This situation brings you the opportunity to heal, grow, and release negative patterns. Hold the intention of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness. We will help you release unforgiving thoughts, feelings, and energies, and lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion. Yep, that's your awakening. All right. This is a, a very powerful and inspired reading. Um, I'm just very impressed, Libra. So I hope it has been helpful to you. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Like and share the video. And until I see you next time, Libra, namaste.